Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Mike Tyson's Punch-Out High School tutorial. In this video, I will be talking about the second fight in the game, Von Kaiser. Like Glass Joe, this fight isn't particularly difficult to execute. However, it is extremely tricky to come up with an optimal route, as there is a lot of variance in the way this fight can turn out. I am not even confident that this is the best way to handle it. This fight will require you to make some good judgement calls based on the time left in the round, your health, and Kaiser's health, among other factors. Once again, I will go over some facts about the fight. The first star can be attained on the 8th punch of the fight, and the next guaranteed star will be owed every 2nd punch. Random stars are awarded at a 50% rate. The smallest amount of damage you can deal and also get a star is with a left gut, intercepting an uppercut for 2 damage. Unfortunately, this method can only be reliably done after you or Kaiser has been knocked down. Damage dealt by a star punch can take on 4 values, 96 hit points if Von Kaiser is stunned, 19 damage if landed directly after an uppercut or a jab, 14 damage if Kaiser is just standing there, and 11 damage if it intercepts a hook. Von Kaiser's health recovery is soft capped at 32 hit points. He only has two different punches a jab and an uppercut. Both the jab and the uppercut can be intercepted with a gut punch. The jab deals 9 damage to Mac, while the uppercut deals 14. Since this is the first time you are seeing an uppercut in the run, there is one special thing I'd like to add. If you block any uppercut, you still lose 3 hearts, but you will reduce the damage dealt to Mac by 8. Kaiser will dodge the 8th star punch, and after a reset, he will dodge the 5th. When Little Mac turns pink, Kaiser will perform uppercuts in groups of two, but will also end the pink pattern immediately when Mac becomes unpink. Now that all the general information is out of the way, we can start talking about things more important to the route. Von Kaiser has several pattern changes throughout the fight. They aren't really obvious to detect because they only change the delay between his jabs. From the start of the fight to 10 seconds in, he is doing the long delay. From 10 seconds to a minute, he is doing the medium delay. From a minute to 2 minutes, he is doing the long delay again. From 2 minutes until 2 minutes into round 2, he will be doing the medium delay. From 2 minutes in round 2 until 2.20 in round 2, he will be doing the long delay. And from 2.20 in round 2 until the end of the fight, he will be doing the short delay. The short delay is the only one where you won't be able to connect a star punch intercepting his jab from a star gotten on the previous jab. On Kaiser's first knockdown, he will get up on a one count if you have full HP. This is the only one count where an opponent won't get up with full HP. Otherwise, he will get up with a 64 or 72 refill with a 50% chance for each. On Kaiser's second knockdown, he will get up with 16 HP if you have full HP. Otherwise, he will get up with a 40 or 48 refill with a 50% chance for each. On Kaiser's third knockdown, he will get KO'd if you knock him down with a star punch. Otherwise, he has a 25% chance for an 8 HP refill, a 12.5% chance for a 16 or 24 HP refill each, and a 50% chance for a 32 HP refill. On Kaiser's fourth knockdown, he will get KO'd if you knock him down with a star punch. Otherwise, he has a 50% chance for an 8 HP refill, and a 50% chance for a knockout. On Kaiser's fifth knockdown, he will never be able to get up, so this fight will be broken down into five phases. This fight won't be as straightforward as the last. You will have to carefully gauge all the information on screen to get the most out of this fight. Let's begin. Like Joe, we are going to get our first star whilst doing the least amount of damage possible. Luckily, Kaiser actually attacks us right away. Dodge and counter his jab five times, then dodge the second and counter twice, then cancel the stun. Intercept a jab and buff a star punch four times. Since we can't do any more of these combos, just let him hit you five times. This will let him recover to the max.
the clock should now tick over one minute. Buffer a face punch and hold up and star punch. Buffer a left gut punch and star punch again. Get hit by one jab, then waste your final heart. Block five uppercuts, then dodge to become unpink. Intercept another jab and buffer another star punch. Kaiser has about 9 or 10 HP left, so we'll just intercept two jabs for eight damage, potentially getting a random star on the second, and then landing a star punch for the knockdown, which should be at around 205. One interesting thing is that when coming out of pink during the slow pattern, his pattern automatically reverts to the medium pattern, which I only fully realized when making this tutorial. Another thing to be careful of is that as the clock ticks over two minutes, there is a trigger for the pattern change. Kaiser will begin his next jab instantly, then go into medium paced jabs. Overall, phase one is quite simple. It is no variance aside from that random star that you may or may not have gotten at the very end. However, that random star will have an effect on the next phase. Phase 2 begins by intercepting both his uppercuts, once again getting a potential random star. Then you delay your first star punch since the jab starts a little later after uppercuts. At this point in the fight, you could have either 0, 1, or 2 stars. Also, Kaiser has 2 refills, so that's 6 possible branches. My method of approach is one of simplicity. I use all my stars here, then alternate getting stars and using stars by intercepting his jabs like in the previous phase. As his health gets low, this is where the decision making comes in. Since I have never really routed this fight properly, you will just have to do what I do and learn to estimate his remaining HP. Typically, when I cannot do another gut star combo, I take one punch from Kaiser. If Kaiser's HP is closer to the first notch, then I just farm stars until he can't take another hit, then I knock him down. This variation should occur before 244. If his HP is closer to the second notch, then I do one more gut star combo, then get hit again, get one more star, then knock him down. This variation should happen before 248. Here is a variation where I don't get as many random stars, and I have to play the end of phase 2 a little differently. Little time remains in the round, and more RNG comes into play. Kaiser could get up with 40 or 48 HP. Depending on how the end of the previous phase went, you may or may not have a star here. Also depending on how the previous phase went, you could get the random star on the first or second punch. Keep in mind that if you have zero stars and are scheduled for a random star on the first punch, there is no possible way to get it. Intercept both his uppercuts and star punch like at the start of the previous phase. If you have stars left, now is the time to use them all, but don't knock him down. If you only had one star after the initial two intercepts, you may have time to get another gut star combo in after this first star punch before round one expires. If that wasn't complicated enough, now it's time to press select since max health is pretty low. There is the possibility of 8 different refills with a 12.5% chance for each of them. The refills are as low as 8 HP, increasing by 8 up to a maximum of 63. I have no idea why it's 63 and not 64. Anyway, time to begin round 2. I'm 
going to show you two different round twos, one with a small select refill and one with a big select refill. The first will include pauses and explanations, and the second will just be a full run through. I will show you a larger select refill first. Once again, my strategy is one of simplicity, to be able to handle any one of these eight refills as well as the various possible amounts of health Kaiser could have ended round one on. It's all very circumstantial. You'll have to improvise on this round. Judge Kaiser's health. If you can begin the round with any gut star combos, do them right away. If not, get hit with jabs. When Kaiser has recovered enough health to do a gut star combo, do one. If max health is closer to the second notch rather than the halfway point between notch two and three, then waste your remaining hearts and block uppercuts. When you can do a gut star combo, dodge an uppercut and then perform one. Just get hit with jabs until you get knocked down. Since this is the minor circuit, you will want to get up on an even count for more health. Almost every time Matt gets knocked down, you want to get up with the most amount of HP. Keep in mind that there could be some very circumstantial times you won't want to do this. You will just have to use your best judgement. When getting up, Kaiser is programmed to do two uppercuts. Most of the time you will want to get hit by them instead of intercepting them for a star, even though it is the most damage efficient way to get a star. Continue to juggle his health and hit gut star combos until 2 minutes. In some situations, it may be possible to go pink right as the clock ticks over 2 minutes. This will cause Kaiser to do uppercuts instead of long delay jabs until 2.20. Once the clock hits 2.20, he will begin his short delay jabs. When you intercept a jab for a star here, you will need to dodge a jab before landing the next star punch. Overall during this round, I don't knock Kaiser down a single time and I get knocked down twice. Once at around 1.30ish and another time will be around 2.30ish. We have three knockdowns to use and we will save the final one for round three. You may have time right at the end of the round to get a star and use one, but your main task is just health management.
When round three begins, both you and Kaiser will have low HP, but overall, the same principle applies. Get stars from gut punches and land them into jabs. You will want to use your final knockdown when you can't do anything else to Kaiser. Use your best judgement for when to waste hearts to get hit by uppercuts rather than jabs. Typically, I'll waste hearts when I'm at a low amount since it takes a while to waste a lot of them, but if you have time to spare, it may be optimal. Make sure to knock Kaiser down with a regular punch, otherwise he won't get back up. When Kaiser returns from this knockdown, he could have 4 refills. 8, 16, 24, and 32. 32 is the most common of the 4, so that is good for us. Once again, have a look at your health and Kaiser's. This will dictate your actions. Obviously, if you get the big refill, you'll want to intercept both uppercuts, since Kaiser will not be able to recover when he hits you. In this example, I get the 16 refill, which is quite rare. Overall, this phase is still all about health management for both you and Kaiser. You have a choice in the manner you knock him down here. If you opt to use a regular punch, Kaiser has a 50% chance to not get back up. But if he does get up, that's an extra phase and at least 1,500 more points. However, you can choose to use a star punch and take the guaranteed 500 points at the cost of a potential extra phase. In my opinion, it's better to roll the dice and go for the extra phase. It's very early in the run and we would like a big score. The final phase is just grabbing some extra points by getting stars. You almost won't ever use a star punch in this phase until it is time to knock Kaiser down. Dance around with his and your HP bars if time permits and when the last 15 seconds of the fight is coming up, it's time to knock him down for the final time. That concludes the tutorial for high score on Von Kaiser. He is a very tricky fight to balance out and get everything right, but this is a good test for your instincts and decision making. In the next fight, we will be tackling Captain RNG himself, Piston Honda 1.